So today guys, I will show you how you can get this amazing crush melee poison carrot ultimate rarity super powerful weapon. A weapon in which if you upgrade it, it gets even crazier. And for those who are all about the melee system, the melee combat system in Bio Mutant, this in my opinion is a must get. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the carrot handle infected carrot is a great and powerful weapon. It's something I do recommend for the players out there who enjoy this game's melee combat system. The biohazard carrot is a must for sure. So this side quest in which you get this thing is called the walking village and it's triggered when you speak to Chubsa who can be located here on the map. He's one of the only few NPCs found around here and you can't really miss him. What he requires you to do is find a certain carrot. And while where this is early on, it's kind of a hard place to go unless you've built into a certain resistance. You need that resistance to radiation, as where you have to go is within a ranch and deep beneath it. But there's radiation poison all around it. So unless you have that 100% radiation resistance here, you probably won't survive. So use armor and bio points to assist you here in getting 100% resistance to radiation. Again though, if it's the early days for you, you don't have many bio points, you don't have much armor which gives you resistance to radiation, I'd leave this and come back at a later time. So once you are ready to take this on, you enter the ranch. Now the ranch is home to quite a few puzzles and a few bits and bobs you can loot, but the quest requires you to go downstairs deep beneath the earth to take on this quest. And what's down here isn't a walk in the park. It requires you to overcome a couple of minor tricky paths. Nothing too serious here. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I did fall in the, the poison water a couple of times. But once you get past this, you then have to take on two big dudes. Who I will say gave me a little trouble. But I did get there in the end. I think it's probably because I was slightly under levels when I got to this stage. But if you sit back, use your dodge, use your roll and shoot them, you shouldn't have much of a problem. Now once you've taken these out, you progress and grab this golden carrot in the next room. From here you then have to return to Chubsa. Once you return to him, you will understand why this quest is called the Walking Village. And once things have settled back down, I mean for me I had to jump off the platform for it to settle back down. But I think if you just leave it a minute or so, it will do it itself. Either way, it's up to you, do what you gotta do. But once things have settled down, you then need to speak again with Chubsa, in which you then grab this weapon from a box behind him. And from here guys, the weapon is yours to enjoy. And while this is how you get the great crush melee weapon, which is known as the Poison Carrot, that's what I'm calling it, the Poison Carrot. The names of weapons in this game are absolutely hilarious. But yeah, this is a potent weapon, offers that biohazard damage. When you level this thing up, it gets even crazier. So yes guys, if you're able to get it, go get it and enjoy it. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Bio Mutant, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn the notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.